It's been a while. Do you remember me? I'm sorry, but who is this? You don't recognize me? It's terrible. It's Alexandra. Alexandra Thomas? I couldn't reach you, so I created a new account to contact you. I can't believe it. The absolute nerve. Are you the Alexandra? You finally remembered. That's right. The Alexandra. It's been a while, hasn't it, Claire? Even though I blocked your number so that I never speak to you again, you have the audacity to create a new account to contact me. Are you serious? You're awful. Of course I'm serious. Have you lost your mind? This is just not done. You can't create a new account to contact me. You broke up this relationship. There is a reason you've been unable to contact me. Well, this was the only way. As I told you, I blocked your number because I didn't want to speak to you again. What? You're awful. We're best friends, aren't we? Best friends? Are you serious? <laughs> now I'm convinced that you've lost your mind. I just wanted to get some advice from you. Wait a minute. We're not best friends anymore and I am not here to give you any advice. Don't act like you've forgotten. I don't want anything to do with you and you know very well what the reason is behind my decision. The reason? Ah, oh, don't tell me it's still because I stole your husband from you. Really, Claire? You are so extreme. I don't even want to remember you or think of you, never mind be friends with you. That's just logical. You stole my husband. Alexandra, don't contact me again. Wait, I've gone to all this trouble to speak to you. Don't be so rude. Oh, but I understand. You've always been so preoccupied with your own feelings. You can't stand seeing me happy now that I have married your ex-husband. Am I right? What? We are happily married and he will never be yours again. So, what? Do you want me to celebrate? Okay. Congratulations. Good job. I hope you can live with the knowledge that you married a man who easily threw away his wife to be with her best friend. Does that make you feel warm and fuzzy inside? It's because of behaviour like this that he chose me. What? Because you're a bad loser and a sarcastic person. That's why he left you. Understand once and for all he chose me because I am kinder and more attractive than you. You're ridiculous. Maybe you should be focusing on self-improvement. If you continue like that, this will happen to you over and over again. You will always be left for a better and more attractive person. What? Take it or leave it. It's just my advice to you. Thank you. It is rich hearing you talk about self-improvement while you've been imitating me for a very long time. Maybe you should apply your advice to yourself. Excuse me? What do you mean by imitating you? I haven't been imitating you. Time to look into the mirror, Claire. You had a personality change and you know it. What? That's not true. Even the way you talk is different now. You imitate everything I do. The way I dress, my hairstyle, the way I talk. Finally, you went as far as stealing my husband. We're in love with the same man and he chose me. Don't try and make excuses for what you've done. It's very tiring to talk with you. 
Anyway, your ex-husband just realised that I'm better than you after he married you. Then he fell in love with me and I can't blame him. Just look at me. And then he divorced you. I am not the one at fault here. But because you charge us alimony, we don't have money. Wait, so you contacted me to talk about money? How stupid. It's your fault you had an affair. So, it's just natural to charge you alimony. Well, now that you have all our money, can you not help us out? What? Are you serious? Are you crazy? You brought this on yourself. Please don't say such unkind things. Hear me out. And I'm pregnant now, so I need some money. Pregnant? Your pregnancy is none of my business. You know, while we were married, he said he didn't want to have a baby. He said he didn't want the responsibility of childcare when we were both working. Are you okay with that? Aw, are you worried about me? You're right, and he said that before, but I want to be a housewife, and when I told him I'll do all the housework and childcare by myself, He changed his mind and wanted a baby. Oh, really? Well, congratulations. But you said that you want to be a housewife, right? Considering your husband's salary, it may be hard to make a living if you don't work. That's why I'm asking you to help me. How many times do I have to tell you that I'm not going to help you? But we're best friends, right? No, we're not. We're strangers. Also, James is your ex-husband, right? And you earn well, so you have enough reason to help us. Just stop. Listen to me. Oh, I have an idea. What about the three of us living together? We're just like a family, so isn't it a good idea? Are you serious? I can't understand the way you think. Now the decision has been made. We'll move into your house. We have to go through the formalities and pack our things quickly. Hear me now, loud and clear. I do not want to see you or help you. I'll never let you in. Claire, James is asking you to pick him up to move into your house. What? You must be joking. You cannot possibly be so selfish. And did you forget I told you not to contact me again? You did not listen to a single word I said. Actually, James wants this for me. I'm struggling with morning sickness and he thinks it will just be easier for me to be with you. Let's leave the past behind us, and then you can help me as your friend. Do you have a car to pick me up? James said he gave it to you with the divorce. I have never met anyone like you. You are not in touch with reality. You and James are a perfect match. You're both extremely selfish. I won't pick you up. And, by the way, the car has always been mine. I bought it with my own money when I was single. James says he doesn't care about the details. Could you listen to me? Anyway, I'm fine with whatever car you come and pick me up in. We're just like family, right? To begin with, I don't have any relationship with you. I'm waiting for you to pick me up. As I told you, I'm not going to. You are not moving into my house. Honestly, just getting a text from you is stressful for me. In addition to that, you're making a nonsensical request, and that's very annoying. Why? You have stable earnings and you're capable of doing all the housework, right? You can help us earn living expenses, so you're very helpful to us. To begin with... When did I agree to the idea? I told you that I won't let you into my house. 
Yes, but our baby did nothing wrong. You have parents. Why aren't you turning to them for help? Well, James's hometown is just not suitable. There's no place for our child to play. And if I'm honest, his parents don't like me because I stole him from you. I'm sure they will be mean to me. Don't you feel any compassion for me? If the three of us live together, I can escape from all these things. Whatever. That's none of my business. Alexandra, of course you're going to be disliked for ruining a marriage. Didn't you think about that before you just foolishly went ahead? No, I am not agreeing to your idea. Please don't say that. We're strangers, and that is the end of this. I don't want to be involved with you. Please, don't contact me again. Well, okay, I will leave this idea for now. You finally understand. Goodbye. I'll let you know once we make decisions about moving. Hey, listen to me. We have made up our minds. We'll be moving soon, so can you pick me up by car? Are you seriously still at it again? Claire, please understand. I'm not working and James doesn't earn well. So what? That's none of my business. It is your business because we have to pay you alimony. Claire, help us. You're my best friend. You have to pay alimony because of what you did. If you hadn't had an affair with my ex-husband in the first place, you wouldn't have had to pay the alimony. And we're strangers now. Did you say I'm your best friend? <laughs> You're funny. You should rely on someone else. You're the only person I can ask for help. My parents also rejected me. They also blame me for stealing your husband. They said they are angry at me for feeling no remorse. It is called a well-deserved punishment. Then how about relying on your husband's parents? Although it might require a little patience. I don't want to live in a rural area. There's nowhere to hang out and I'm not in a good relationship with his parents. That's another issue that really is none of my concern. Do you know that? You are my only hope, Claire. If the three of us live together, you can live with your ex-husband. It's lonely to live alone, isn't it? I'm not lonely at all. Really? You should be lonely. You live alone, right? You're James's ex-wife, so we're just like family. Just think how we could make each other happy, if only we can be together. Not getting involved with you is really all the happiness I need. I have enjoyed my life. Oh, really? You don't need to tell a lie. Oh, I got it. You're pretending to be strong because James chose me over you, aren't you? What? Are you crazy? I know you feel sad, but it couldn't have been helped because I'm prettier than you. Oh, it seems that you will never understand me, so keep believing whatever you want. Well, I'll contact you later. You're stubborn. <laughs> Don't contact me again. We're at this location for moving, so pick us up by car. What? You haven't given up yet? Are you crazy? I've told you so many times that you will not move in with me. Why? Then we'll go to your house and wait for you there. Don't do something so stupid. That's a crime. And trust me, I will call the police. What? It's not a crime because I got permission from you who is just like our family. I didn't give you permission. I rejected your request again and again. Well, don't say that. I know that you're kind enough to forgive me for everything. In the first place, how will you get into the house without a key? We're already at the front of your room. 
There's a security device at the entrance of this apartment. I entered with other residents and my husband and I will pick a lock, so don't worry. Did you say don't worry? It's obviously a crime. We have to do this because you keep refusing us and won't let us in. And it's not a crime because we're connected, just like family. Really? All right. By the way, I moved to a new house when you contacted me the other day, so that's not my house anymore. You keep making these crazy statements. You're just lying, aren't you? We've finished picking the lock already, so we'll wait for you inside the room. Hey, did you really move? It looks completely different from your previous house. I told you, I moved. The police will be there soon, so how about having a cup of coffee until then? Hey, stop joking. I'm not joking. The apartment has a good security system, so they should be coming very shortly. What? I picked the lock. If you've actually moved, why didn't you tell me your new address? Huh? Why do I have to tell you that I've moved, even though I don't want to be involved with you? Because I talked to you about the three of us living together. I didn't agree with the idea. And I warned you that breaking in is a crime. To begin with, even if that's my house, it's trespassing. No, it's not. I told you before, it's all your fault. Come here immediately and explain everything to the police. Hey, take responsibility for what you did. No way, you're disgusting. And I told James's parents that you're moving to their house. What? Why? That's disgusting. I'll never go. I don't want to live in a rural area. I want some help with childcare and housework so that I can live in idleness. You intend to force me to do everything so that you can have fun, don't you? I'm not forcing you to do anything. I was just relying on you. I can't understand why you rely on your ex-husband's wife. His parents will say that you have to do all the housework and childcare. That's why I don't want to live with them. I just want to relax. Only this time, I appreciate you stealing my ex-husband. I feel a little pity for you that you have to live with his parents who love tormenting a bride. But good luck. Oh no, you're disgusting. Am I disgusting? It's all your fault, isn't it? Oh, I forgot to tell you that your husband will be fired from work because this trespassing will be reported to the police. He's going to lose his job, so nothing will stop you from moving to his parents' house. I'm happy to think that I don't have to get involved with you anymore. Is he going to get fired? Then how should we sustain our life? I don't know. Figure it out by yourself. Think together at last. No. This happened because you selfishly didn't tell me that you've moved. It was your fault that you stole my husband and decided everything selfishly. Don't blame me for your misfortune. Help us with things like living expenses. What? Why? No. You just have to ask his parents. I don't want to. We're best friends, aren't we? You're the one who betrayed the friendship, right? Oh, no. Oh, my God. The police have arrived. Hey, do something. Explain the situation to the police. <laughs> Missed call. Clear. Hey, Clear. Alexandra and James were arrested by the police. It was their first offence, so they got released shortly, but they were taken to the remote rural area because they didn't have anyone to rely on. James couldn't be re-employed, and he's moving from one part-time job to another.
and Alexandra is doing housework and childcare and listening to her husband's mother's sarcasm. About the alimony and living expenses, Alexandra is asked to work and pay the money once she gives birth. So she seems to be scared of her future after giving birth because she has to work in addition to housework and childcare. Alexandra contacted me to ask for help a couple of times, but I ignored all. I'm enjoying my peaceful, single life.